Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a different kind of Samba Saturdays today. Um, what we are going to do first of all, is we're gonna have a little look around our kitchen to see what we can use uh, in place of our regular Samba instruments, okay? So as you know, we use, on a Saturday, we use sudus, okay? We use kashas and we use agogos. And then sometimes if we're really lucky, we'll also get the shakers and the tambourines out. Today we're going to focus on one, two, three. We're going to focus on three of those instruments, okay? I'm going to start with what you can see on the floor, okay? So we've got our sudo bucket, okay? So for any of you out there wanting to make your own sudo, it's very easy. You get a bucket, like so. Okay, you're just going to flip it so it's upside down. And then for your beater, for your stick, okay, what I did is I got a um, tea towel, make sure you ask your parents first. And I wrapped it around a, I think it's a wooden spoon underneath here, yeah it is. So I wrapped it around a wooden spoon and then I just added some rubber bands to help secure it and keep it in place, okay. So the main thing, you just want something that's a bit padded, so when you hit your bucket you get quite a padded sound like this. Okay, so it's still gonna be like uh, a sudo, maybe not as much tone, but the main thing is we've got the sound, okay? So, those two are for your sudo, or the sudo bucket, as it's now been renamed. Next one we've got are, I'm gonna move this pan out of the way. We've got these two pans here, okay? So we've got a bigger one, and we've got a smaller one, okay? So these two pans here are gonna make up our agogo, okay? So the bigger one will sound a bit lower, the smaller one will sound a bit higher, okay? And then with the two of them, we can make um, our regular agogo pans. Okay, so we've got our agogo there. I'll just, I'll just smoosh those into the corner. Okay, and then last but not least, we've got our kasha, okay? Now for our kasha, if you notice, when I was playing the agogo, I was playing it with this end, okay? Oops. No drumsticks, no problem. Wooden spoons are the answer, okay? So I was playing the, uh, the pots with the thin, uh, I guess, stick end of the wooden spoon, okay? For the kasha, when we're sort of trying to play the kasha, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually play it with the spoon end of the spoon, and I'm gonna play right on the edge of this pan here, okay? So right on the lip. Okay? So, we've got our kasha. We've got our uh, gogos. And we've got our sudu. Okay, so we've got all of the instruments. Added little bonus, we've got a salt shaker, okay? Literally a salt shaker. Um, do be careful, make sure it's all sealed up. I'm sure your parents won't forgive me if there's salt all over the kitchen afterwards. So make sure it's sealed up, okay? Gotta be nice and careful. Maybe if you're being really careful, you just hold that end as well so nothing can get out. Okay, and then you can shake nice and easy like this, okay? But we'll get to this if we can today. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick little refresher of everything, okay? Of everything. So, <clears throat> what are we gonna start with? We'll start with the kasha, okay? So, our Saturday Samba classes, we've been doing a number of things. We've been doing first, Samba Reggae, um, and we've been doing Afroche as well. So we've been focusing on those two things, Samba Reggae and Afroche, okay? Uh, we're gonna start with the second one because it's a little bit simpler, Afroche, okay? I'm sure we all remember the pattern for it, okay? But in case we don't, this is what the pattern sounds like, okay? This is the beat we play on drum. This is the beat we play on drum. This is the beat we play on drum. This is the beat we play on drum, okay? 
what does that sound like on our podcaster? Let's have a listen. This is the So nice and easy. The part is everything that you say, everything that you speak, you're going to play. Okay. Remember, your hands are always alternating. So you're going right, left, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, left, right. We never do two notes on the same hand next to each other. Okay. Let's look again. Let me turn it towards you guys so you can see really clearly. Here we go. This is the So never doing two notes on the same hand next to each other, okay? They're always swapping, okay? So that's the affroche for your pot kasha, kasha pot, okay? Next, we would have the agogo, okay? Next, we would have the agogo. So for the agogo, um, we've got our most famous phrase, I like kittens and bears and dragons. 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 Okay, so remember, we're always going to start by hitting the bigger bell, or in this case, the bigger pot. Okay, and we want to shape our part so that it follows our voices. Okay. I like ooh, that wasn't good. Let's try that again. I like kittens and bears and dragons. 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 Okay, just like that. If you want to be super, super advanced, you can try doing it with just one stick, like you would with an go go. So it would sound like this and look like this. I like kicking bears and dragons. I like kicking bears and dragons. I like kicking bears and dragons. I like kicking bears and stop. Okay, so that's what it would all sound like. Uh, that's how the agogo works um, for the affroche, okay? So exactly the same pattern. Instead of an agogo bell, we've got a couple of pots, all right? So that's the agogos. Let's move the cash pot just out of the way. And then finally, we get to the sudu, okay? So if you remember, our words for the sudu are drums, I play drums, I play drums, I play drums. I play drums, okay? The most important thing to remember is that we start playing the drum with our hand, okay? Our stick doesn't come down first, our empty hand comes down first, okay? So it's gonna uh, sound and look like this, okay? Drums, I play 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 drums. Hand stick, hand, hand stick, hand. I play drums, I play drums, and stop. Okay, so that's everything that we would do for the agogo, for the sudu, for the kasha in Afroche. Okay, now we've got one extra thing because Afroche has two parts, so we've got a couple of extra things that we need to add. Okay. First on the sudo, okay? So when we go into part two, 
of the affoche, we're going to do two hits on the drum, not one, but two. Okay, so instead of drums, I play drums, it's going to look like this and sound like this. Drums, I play drums, I play drums, I play drums, I play drums. Okay, so we're going to hit our sudo bucket on the words I play. Okay, but that's only for part two. When you're in part one, you're just going to hit on the words play. Okay, drums, I play drums for part one. For part two, drums, I play drums. Okay, as simple as that. All right, so that's what would happen for part two on the suit. Okay, for part one. On the agogos, we've already seen and learned what that's gonna um, be like. So, for part two, our job actually gets easier. We're gonna copy the sudus, okay? So that means we're only gonna play two notes and we're gonna play them on the words I and play, okay? So, drums, I play 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 drums. Drums, and stop. Okay, nice and easy. All right. So that's what would happen for part uh, one and two on the ugogo, part one and two on the sudo. For the kasha, nothing changes. You keep doing the same thing. Uh, this is the way we play the drum. 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 Okay. Nice and easy. So, depending on which instrument you've got out, you now have a lot of stuff to practice for your affoche. Okay. Um, so what we'll do now is we're gonna do we're gonna do four bars. Okay. Now you've probably never heard me say this in um, Saturday Samba before, um, but four bars, um, or let me break it down a little bit more. A bar is like one passage of music okay we're gonna do four passages of our music for each instrument okay so that means four times drums i play drums i play that means four times this is the way we play the drum okay and it means four times of i like kittens and bears and dragons okay four bars here we go so we're going to do it on each instrument so that um, it's really nice and clear and also you've got a little something to practice as well help you get in all right so here we go four bars on each instrument we'll start with the cash again okay here we go in fact I think four bars is a little bit too short let's do eight okay so we're going to do eight bars one two three four this is the beat we play on drum. 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 Five, beat we play on drum. Six, the beat we play on drum. Seven, the beat we play on drum. Eight is the beat we play on drum. Okay, so that's eight bars of music with the kasha, okay? Now we're gonna do eight bars of music with the sudo, okay? Here we go. Drums, I play 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 five. bars of music on the sudo there last but not least we've got eight bars of music on our gogos here we go I like kittens and bears and dragons 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 five kittens and Eight bars of 
bars of music there on the agogo, okay? Now, for part one, that's what eight bars of music sounds like, okay? As we spoke about earlier, for part two, the sudus and the agogos would change, they'd be doing something a lot simpler. Because it's quite simple, I'm gonna do both of them together so I can show you super duper quickly. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and thumbs. Six, drums, seven, drums, eight, drums, I play drums. Okay, nice and easy. All right, so hopefully that's giving you a little refresher for your affoche. Okay, and it's giving you an idea of how you can play all of those bits and bobs on all of these different instruments. Okay, so now we're going to switch it up to our samba reggae okay now for the samba reggae um some things change some things don't okay what does change our kasha changes okay so now for our samba reggae our kasha is going to be really different okay still going to alternate our hands so we're still never playing two notes on the same hand next to each other um, instead, now we're going to constantly be playing, constantly, 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 okay? Um, so it's going to be like we're doing a single stroke roll, okay? A really, really long single stroke roll, okay? But our single stroke roll has to have a little bit of, a little bit of swing, a little bit of bounce, okay? So it doesn't sound straight, okay? What I mean by straight is this, it doesn't sound even, okay? So what I'm gonna play now is like a really even single stroke roll. Here we go. Okay, really, really even, okay? What we're going for um, with our kasha for the samba reggae is this. So it's not quite even, it's a little bit like a horse walking, okay? Okay, it's got a little bit of a swing to it, okay? So that's what we're going for with the kasha, okay? But we're gonna build up to that. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our single stroke roll, okay? So this is gonna be your starting exercise, okay? really nice and slowly. We're just gonna um, play it right and then left, or left and then right, if you're uh, left-handed, okay? But our challenge is, when we play down, the opposite hand is gonna come up, so it's ready. And then when that hand goes down, our original hand will come up again, so it's ready to play down again. So we should get this nice movement, which is perfectly in sync, like this, okay? So we're gonna start off, we're gonna start off nice and gently, um, nice and slowly, okay? We're just gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, okay? At a really, really nice, slow, steady speed. Beautiful. Now, when you're comfortable with this and it sounds nice and even, we're gonna double our speed, okay? So this is what double the speed sounds like. I'm gonna count you in. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going twice as fast. Still want to keep it even, we're not worried about swing just yet. Nice and even. Now we're going to double the speed again. We're going to go twice as fast again. I'm going to count you in. Here we go.
double the speed, okay? We still want to keep it nice and even, and we still want to make sure that one hand, that our hands are synced, okay? So that means when one hand goes up, the other hand comes down. So, this is a really good warm-up to get us used to playing uh, our samba reggae pattern, okay? Um, we'd probably play a little bit faster than that, okay, when it came to playing samba reggae groove properly. We'd probably be looking at this kind of speed. at that kind of speed just a little bit faster okay so this is why it's a really really good exercise to get you used to playing um playing at that speed okay and with that coordination very important that we're doing it hand to hand letting our left and right hands alternate okay so the next thing that we need to add um for the cashier especially is the swing Okay, so with the swing, as I said, we're kind of going for a horse's walk, like when a horse is walking. It's just a nice, relaxing walk that the horse is going for, but it's got a certain rhythm to it. It doesn't walk evenly, and there's a, there's a little bit of a swing. It's a little bit of a swing going to it, okay? So, a um, couple of ways that you can get it. Um, I personally like to try and say the swing, okay? So, um, my uh, favorite method of doing it is chicken tikka, 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 okay? So you'll get like a pretty good uh, representation of the swing if you're saying those words, okay? So with chicken tikka, okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say it eight bars, okay? So that's eight bars of chicken tikka. One bar of chicken tikka sounds like this. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, okay? That's one bar. So we've got eight bars of that, so lots of chicken tikka, okay? Lots and lots of chicken tikka, okay? We're gonna say it for eight bars and then we're gonna play it for eight bars. Here we go. One and two and just gonna say it now. Chicken tikka, 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 five. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, six. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, stop. <sighs> and breathe, okay? So uh, make sure that you're remembering to breathe. It's not easy, okay? It gets a bit difficult, but that's the work and that's gonna make us sound really good, okay? Now, um, instead of speaking, well, not only speaking, this time we're gonna add playing our little cash pot here, okay? So. Same thing again, eight bars, same chicken tikka and playing it. Here we go. One and two and three and four and chicken tikka, 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 five, tikka, chicken tikka, chicken tikka, chicken six, done okay so you've got those eight bars I'd recommend practicing eight bars speaking eight bars playing okay if you repeat that um, that process 
that's going to get really comfortable for you. Okay. Now we're going to leave it there for San Borrego Casha just for now. Okay. And we're going to move it across um, to the Agogo. And the reason we're going to go to the Agogo is because the Agogo is really easy and it doesn't change. Okay. So your part one for Afoche is going to be the same as your Samba Reggae. Okay. Nice and easy. Here it is. same thing of course keep practicing it eight bars at a time is a really good way to do it but you've got those words remember those rhythms so I think that one will be nice and easy for us okay but then last and probably the most challenging is going to be the sudo okay um, challenging for a few reasons first because um, we're not there's going to be three different types of sudo I know I've only got one here there's actually three different types of sudo uh, for samba reggae. Now, the first type of sudo is sudo number one, first sudo, and it has a really easy job, okay? We're gonna count, one, two, three, four. What we've just done is we've counted all of the beats, do four beats, we've counted four beats inside one bar, okay? So four beats, inside one bar okay so four of these little beats here make up one bar okay so it's nice and easy um hopefully you understand that and the sudo number one okay so pretend that's this one sudo bucket number one it's going to play on beats number one and beat number three okay so it's going to play on those two beats number one and number three okay so this is what it'll sound like okay so uh, I'll give myself a little count in. One and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four. That's one bar. Two and three and four and two and three. Two and three and four. Two and three and four. stop okay so that's eight bars of the first to do okay only plays on beats one beat three okay so that's the first beat of the bar and the third beat of the bar okay so in case still a little bit confusing okay four beats in one bar okay we've got one two three four, one two three okay so just like that okay now, the second sudo, second sudo, just like its name, starts on the second beat, okay? So beat number two, and also has beat number four, okay? So we're gonna imagine now, we're gonna imagine that our first sudo there is playing, or there's like a twin sudo bucket, which is playing, um, and we're gonna do the second sudo now, okay? So I want you to imagine, uh, what I'll do is I'll try and if you see me stamp my foot, that's going to represent the first sudo. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four. Two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four. Seven. So that's the second sudo, okay? That's what the second is, sudo is doing. Beats number two, beats number four, okay? Really nice and easy. Now, for the third sudo, I'm gonna do a little pause. So for our third sudo, I had to grab something even smaller, okay? So uh, this is just a little Tupperware box, okay? But it's, uh, it's 
good for our third sudu because as you know our sudus come in different sizes the bigger they are the lower they sound okay so this being quite small it's going to sound quite a little bit higher all right so we've had our first and second boom three one three that would be for the first for the second two four two four for our third sudo uh, that pattern changes a little bit okay so we are gonna start on beat number two just like the second sudo but we've got a completely different thing to say okay so for us it's gonna sound like this frosties sugar puffs how I like my frosties and my sugar puffs frosties sugar puffs how I like my frosties and my sugar puffs frosties So that's what it's going to sound like. Now, as I said, it starts on beat number two. So a useful little trick um, for this part is if you clip your sticks before you play your drum, you're always going to play in the right place. So if we start off the four, we're going to click our sticks on one. One and two and three and four and. That's what the third sudo sounds like okay so with the first and the third i'm gonna see if i can pull this off might need to do a little bit of drum jiggling so with the first sudo and the third sudo and kind of the second as well i don't have enough hands or drums to do the second but hopefully you'll get the uh, the gist and the feel of it. It should sound like this, okay? I'm gonna play for eight bars, okay? That's only gonna be four times round our third sudo pattern, okay? So, our third sudo pattern is twice as long as all of the other parts. All of the other parts are one bar long. This part is two bars long. Okay, so instead of playing um, eight times around uh, like we would with the sudu or with the agogo or with the kasha, what we're going to do is we're going to play four times around our complete pattern. Okay, it's still going to add up. It's a little bit of maths to also keep your brains engaged as well. Okay, here's what it's going to sound like. I'm going to count myself in. One, two. Three, four. Frosties, sugar puffs. How I like my frosties and my sugar puffs. Frosties, sugar puffs. How I like my frosties and my sugar puffs. Frosties, sugar puffs. How I like my frosties and my sugar puffs. Frosties, sugar puffs. So that's what the first and the third sounds like. Um, I guess what I can do also is play what the second and third sounds like so you have the complete, the sort of complete package. Again, I'll play for eight bars, okay? And that's gonna be four times around the third sudo pattern, okay? So if you remember those words, they're really nice and easy to remember because they're all tasty breakfast cereals, okay? We should uh, keep our place, we won't get lost, okay? Here we go. Count myself in again. One, two, three, four. 
One. So that's eight bars of me playing the second sudo as well as the third, okay? So, hopefully, as a beginning session to get us eased back into um, all of our samba um, and to also give you something to practice, okay? Um, that is where we're going to leave it for today, okay? That is... Let me say this is the kasha pot with wooden spoons. We've got a sudo bucket, okay? This can be your ones and twos. And if you need something smaller for your third, you can try something like this, like a little uh, pot of Tupperware, like so. Okay. And then we've got another set of pots and pans over here. Okay. For our go -go's. And then seeing how we get along, we've also got some shaker for later. All right. So I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, I hope it's all clear. Please do hit me up with any questions you may have. Um, and keep practicing your sound, people. And I look forward to seeing you in person so we can make some good group music very soon. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful weekend.